Hey, Doug Afton here, and I have a f two free plays for you on Saturday. I'm actually recording this on uh, almost Friday evening here on the uh, in the Phoenix area. So just to uh, let you know that uh, don't know how I did today yet. Okay, so we'll have to see. But I do know that I uh, myself personally am 80 and 50 on free plays. So that's a fantastic record, along with a uh, West Coast Wise guy, 61 and 41. So subscribe to the channel. I already told you that several times, right? So if you haven't done it, I'm telling you again, let's go get it done. And then after, after you subscribe, okay, and leave a comment or hit the like button or do all those other types of things that I've been asking you to do, then you're going to go into your settings, hit that alert bell, and then you will be notified every single time I do one of these videos, okay? Uh, and I, I don't want to forget this before I get to all the stuff here. It's to let you know that this week, uh, this weekend is the transition. So I've been doing videos Monday through Saturday. I'm going to start doing Tuesday through Sunday because we've got the NFL next weekend. So no videos again till Tuesday, but at uh, winningcappers.net, I will have written free plays for both Sunday and Monday. So just keep that in mind. All right. So make sure that you uh, take a look at that. All right. So like uh, as I've mentioned on Friday, I have a Big play, best bet going on Saturday night. Okay, and check that out at Winning Cappers and or GamblersWorld.net. So make sure that you ch check that out. Also have another a play, another top play, uh, not a, not a best bet, but another top play that going for an outright upset. So keep that in mind, right? And if you're interested in saving a little money, okay, on on value, is what you can do. You can get all four of my picks on Saturday, okay, for just forty nine ninety nine. Okay, so you decide what you want to do. I'm out to have a fantastic college football season. I've won five of the last eight years. I've been, I've had, I got number one titles, several number one titles. I have several, uh, also top ten finishes in college football. And so I'm looking. I spent more time this year than any previous year um, going through all the stuff. So with that, I'm looking to have a huge year. Okay, I know I'm not the only person telling you that. Okay, but I'm telling you. Okay, I think you're know that I'm a pretty honest and trustworthy person here. So if I say it, it's true. Okay. So, so here we go. I'm going to say, check, check those, those things out. All right. I'm talking about a big game. You notice the ND on the shirt. No, that's not for North Dakota. Okay. But it's the game I'm going to talk about. Notre Dame, Texas A&M. Uh, Notre Dame's defense looks rock solid. Front line, excellent. Secondary, uh, the, the, the top, the front line is, has top, is top 10. Okay. By all, all the different services. Secondary is top five. Offensively, though, big concerns, okay? Uh, starting offensive line has a total of six starts combined. Six, okay? Starting a freshman for the uh, his first start, of course, and then a sophomore starting for the first time. So there's some concerns there because they're going up against a very good Texas A&M defensive front. Riley uh, Leonard, their quarterback, has to play in front of that inexperienced line. That can be problematic. Uh, Notre Dame is calling their re wide receivers – uh, a deep group, okay, but they're also not telling you that they don't have one that they're going to depend on. So it's deep, I guess, but not necessarily, you know, loaded with star power. Now, uh, the other side of the coin, Texas A&M, as I mentioned, stout defense, okay, defensive front, really good, top five, okay, def defensive front. Safeties look good. A little weakness at cornerback, but you know what? I don't think that's anything to get excited about. Uh, their offense, though, is – it's not ready to go. It might be a little bit ahead of Notre Dame's right now, but I don't think it's really in, in great shape. Okay, uh, from that standpoint, we all know Texas A&M, known for their loud crowds, the twelfth man. Okay, all of that that goes along with that. At home since 2018, 31 and eight straight up. Uh, but that success is not necessarily transferred into against the college football odds on their own turf. Uh, the last five years, the Aggies just. 12, 12, and 2 ATS, uh, not, not exactly intimidating. Uh, I, I'm sure, as you're aware of, Marcus Freeman, the Notre Dame coach, who he'll be talking about all week, hey, this is why you come to South Bend, to play in games like this. Okay, simple as that. Uh, you know, the crowd in Texas and him is going to be loud. They're going to be proud. It's going to be something else. But Notre Dame has not had a losing season on the roads since 2016. They're 35 and 10 straight up in away games. And wearing those white uniforms, they're 22 and 12 against the spread. So I think this is going to be a rugged defensive battle. Okay. I, I think both offenses got going to have some problems and they have question marks coming in. This total opened up at 49. 
went down to 46 and a half. I see it's at 47. I'm going to go right here for you. I'm going to go under the 47 for Notre Dame and for Texas A&M. So under 40, that is the official play. And I'll just, just also, just as a, a lean, okay, and I'm not being Homer here. Uh, I, I think you know that by a lot of my picks, whether it be the Cubs uh, or for those that have followed me for several years, the Cubs, uh, the Angels, teams that I like, the Milwaukee Bucks, Boston Bruins, all those teams, I'm not afraid to go against them, okay? I'm not, but I am taking Notre Dame plus the three, okay, in this one. Now, that's that's what I'm doing, but officially, the play here is what you see, under 47, okay? So, again, quick recap for you. I have a lot of a lot of plays going, okay? So, I got four plays. You can get all four for $49.99 on the card on Saturday, Otherwise, like I said, I have a best bet going uh, Saturday night. I have a uh, also an upset that I'm looking at, outright upset. Okay, so make sure that you check that out. All available at the Doug Upstone pages at Gamblers World and WinningCampers.net. I will also have a baseball play. I'm just going to look for one play on Saturday. I haven't done that yet. It's still to come after I do this video. So if you're interested in some baseball action, I will have that also. Okay. And hopefully I got to can report that I hit my best bet on Friday night. So that's what I have for you. Oh, the West Coast Wise Guys play. What am I thinking here? Okay. Well, we got Troy. Okay. A minus eight and a half against uh, Nevada. That's the West Coast Wise Guys play. Looking to knock down another winner there. That's what I have for you for Saturday. You enjoy your Saturday. I plan to. That's why I'm doing this video earlier because I'm going to watch these games right from the beginning. So enjoy your day. Hopefully it's super profitable. Hopefully we have a great uh, – if you have the games on Sunday and Monday, I don't think I'm going to have – I know I'm not doing Sunday. Monday's up in the air, but I don't think so. But I, like I said, I will have free plays for you on those days. So make sure that you stop by winningcampers.net if you want to continue see how well I do in free plays. Let's just have a big weekend. Let's get off to a great start in college football. Be smart. Don't overdo it. Okay. Just keep your head. Okay. That's all I can tell you. And right. So make sure that you, make sure make sure that you do that. Enjoy. This is Doug Upstone. We will see you on Tuesday on this video. Until then, I'm out.